Okay, it looks like we are live. We will give a minute or two for everybody to file in for our careers in craft beer discussion. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Let's see if we're up and running. Leave a comment if you can see us and hear us okay. Let's see. Hey, I think I think we're going, everybody. Great Lakes Brewing Company crew, how are you guys doing? Hello. Good. Hello. Hello. Say hi to everybody hi. out in Facebook land. There we go. We already we're we're less than three minutes in, and we already have 27 people watching. That's terrific. Hi, everybody. My name is Adam Ritterspa, and I would like to welcome you to our careers in craft beer Q and A. Uh, as an employee-owned brewery, Great Lakes Brewing Company recognizes that our most valuable asset is our employee owners, and today. We are going to talk about those opportunities, the benefits, and the culture of our brewery, because right now we have a diverse mix of positions available in our brew pub, in our production facility, soon our gift shop and tours. So if you're interested in starting a career in craft beer, we're going to talk a little bit about what we look for in candidates that are interested in uh, working at Great Lakes. We really hope today's discussion sheds some light on what working in the brewing industry is like and hopefully motivate some of you at home to consider joining our employee-owned brewery. If you have any questions throughout our discussion, please throw them in the chat. I'm gonna do my best to try and get those asked to our panel, who I'll introduce here in a second. And I wanna make sure we can answer as many questions as we can because we have a lot to cover and I think it's going to be very helpful. Joining me is Becca Ritterspa. She's the Talent Acquisition and Development Specialist at Great Lakes Brewing Company. Becca, thanks for being here. Hello. Also joining us is Justin Mihalovic. He's the Operations Manager of our brewery, as well as Allison Price, GM of Brew Pub Operations, and Veronica Bagley, Gift Shop and Tours Manager. Hey, everybody. Hey, Adam. How's it going? Veronica, Allison, how you guys doing? Great. Good, good. good. Well, we're so happy you guys could help, uh, be here today. Um, if you're looking for full-time or part-time work, we have a number of positions open throughout our company. So you can see what positions are available right now at greatlakesbrewing.com forward slash employment. Again, that's greatlakesbrewing.com forward slash employment. Now I will say this, many of the positions that we're going to be discussing today are mostly connected to the brew pub or the brewery. If you're interested in getting into sales or joining our marketing team or maybe administrative work, we encourage you to stick around for the discussion because much of what we're going to be talking about today will apply to every department throughout our brewery. So keep an eye on our employment page and apply for positions as they become available. And again, you can see what positions are available right now at greatlakesbrewing.com forward slash employment. Again, we're considering today's chat a Q&A, so please leave as many questions or comments as you want in the chat. I'll be keeping my eyes open for your questions and I'll do my best to include them in our discussion. I promise to do uh, the best I can to get it the, as many of them in as I can. So I'm already talking way too much. No one wants to hear any more from me. Before we really dive into each department, Becca, I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about why Great Lakes is such a great place to work. Yeah, so um, you find a lot of people here that really find a career. They find a home at Great Lakes. Um, a lot of that is because of our job growth potential. You have a lot of opportunity to, to grow into a career, and I'm sure that we will dive into more of that as this discussion rolls on. Something else that really sets us apart is our benefits package. Great Lakes has a reputation for being very, very good to their employees. And um, one, of the, one of the biggest examples of that is the robust benefits package that we have to offer. I don't know that you could find another restaurant specifically where you could have six paid holidays off. You're not working Christmas. You're not working for July. Those days we want people to spend with their family and their friends. Um, in terms of other benefits, medical, dental, vision, um, really generous paid time off, about three and a half weeks for full-time employees, plus those six major holidays. So you're looking at about five weeks of paid time off. We value work-life balance. We want you to have a home life, have friends, have family that you spend time with, especially as we're starting to come out of this pandemic. Um, we have a great culture. Um, people here work really hard. We're passionate about what we make, about what we do and represent. We're passionate about our sustainability efforts, our give back to the community. Um, so we're in the craft beer industry, right? We're this is a fun industry. We have a lot of fun together. Um, but 
the passion is there. People work really hard. And one of the things that I think really encapsulates our culture here is the fact that we're an employee owned company. Yeah, and I was actually wanted to bring that up with you because we've been talking about that a lot. Uh, we became an employee owned company back in 2018 when we celebrated our 30th anniversary. We've always been an independent company, but for our 30th anniversary, we were surprised to find out that we were becoming an employee owned company. So what exactly does that mean? Yeah, so what it means for us, our employee stock own ownership plan is set up a little different from others that you may hear about in the sense that this is a no cost added benefit for staff. This is a retirement benefit for staff. Um, so basically a portion of what you make each year is calculated. That amount is put into a trust fund on behalf of the company in your name uh, in the form of company stock. So we have set the grounds for some really big growth with the company. Um, and as the company grows, the value of your stock is also going to grow. Um, and the other thing that that does is it sends a message to staff that A, Pat and Dan Conway, the owners of our company are very committed to remaining independent as opposed to selling out and going big corporate. The other thing that it does is it promotes this culture of regardless of what you do, whether you are a busser in the restaurant or you lead a department, your contribution makes a difference and it, it matters to everyone in terms of what we all take home um, at the end of the day. So we've really developed this culture here of think like an owner um, and it's because we all have ownership. Absolutely. I know um, I, can, I can at least speak for myself and I'm sure for the rest of the group that when I think about my own job performance, I'm absolutely thinking about the better that I do hopefully the rest of the company does. So it's definitely a great motivator. Becca, tell us a little bit about um, opportunity for growth. You kind of touched on it a little bit, but um, is that something a lot of people could expect when they join Great Lakes? Yeah, absolutely. And, and a lot of our folks who have been here for years have started out working in the brew pub or working on our bottling line. And these are areas where we have job openings right now and are looking for dedicated people who are looking to grow a career. You know, if your end goal is to be a brewer, I could not recommend more highly starting out as a bottler. Um, I'll point out as an example, Justin, who's on this Facebook live chat with us, started as a third shift bottler and is now the operations manager. I started working in our kitchen and I'm working in HR. I think everyone just about on this call has started somewhere else and has grown a career here. Um, we do tuition reimbursement. Um, we have lots of opportunity for development, not only beer education, but what, whatever it is that you're passionate about, we, um, we definitely support developing that and growing your career here. We want you to be here for a long time. So generally speaking then, since you are the talent acquisition and development specialist, what is it that you look for when you're searching through candidates? Yeah, so a few things, right? We want people who um, have the same vision in terms of what they're passionate about. Um, and that can come in many different forms. Um, we want creative people. We want um, passionate people. And, and the beauty of those two qualities is you can get a very diverse mix of people um, that are bringing those things to the table. So whether you are, again, um, you know, a busser in the restaurant or, um, you know, joining our electrical team on the maintenance side, um, we just want people who are passionate about um, making really good liquid, um, passionate about representing the Great Lakes values, which again, our community give back, sustainability, environmentalism, and whatever diverse background you come from, we want your ideas on the table. Um, it's, it's a more the merrier situation. Absolutely. You know, this is something I'm going to throw at you kind of out of the blue. Uh, we have the draft card system. Tell us a little bit quickly about what that is. Yeah, so the draft card is kind of a cheeky play on words, referring, of course, to draft beer. Um, but our draft card system is an opportunity for staff to submit their ideas on how to make things better. Whether it is, um, we could really use some non-slip tape here, or I've got a great idea for an event that would promote this new beer. Whatever it might be, uh, we've got an opportunity um, for anyone at any level of the company to bring their ideas to the table. And uh, Justin and I were actually on a call earlier today. We have a bi-weekly meeting to look over all the suggestions and a team of people to then put them into place. Um, so we value input from others. So it's that idea of thinking like an owner. That's great. Absolutely. Becca, I was curious, is Great Lakes an equal opportunity employer? 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that goes for, you know, not only the protected classes, age, sex, gender, um, we, we encourage diversity here. Um, you know, we, we certainly, you know, we take into account differences people have in scheduling needs because of parental duties or somebody who's coming in off the street or from another program where they have a criminal background and are looking to get back on their feet. Um, we, are, we really have opportunities for just about everybody here. Now, what if someone is at home right now and they would love to work at Great Lakes one day, but they don't see a position available on our website that they're necessarily interested in or they feel like, you know, is a good fit. Uh, what could they do? So I still want to hear from you. And if you go to our website, again, Adam mentioned it's greatlakesbrewing.com slash employment. Um, you'll see all of the open jobs listed there and you'll see a separate link where you can put in an application for future openings. Um, through that application, you can indicate to me what type of work you're interested in, upload your resume. I look through those frequently and keep them on file. Um, so you may end up getting a call from me down the road. It's awesome. And we actually have our first question. It's from Joseph. He's asking, do we need people in Jacksonville, Florida? <laughs> right now, no. In the future, <laughs> who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So yeah, absolutely. I want everyone to check out what positions are available now. You can see those on our website. And again, if there's not one that's a good fit, there's always the future position, position section. So check that all out at greatlakesbrewing.com slash employment. And remember, if you have any questions, please leave them in the chat. I'll do my best to get to them. Now, you don't have to apply online for all positions. In fact, our brew pub is currently holding weekly walk-in interviews every Wednesday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And here to talk about that is the GM manager or general manager of the brew pub. It's Allison. Allison, how are you doing? Hi, Adam. I'm great. Uh, thanks again for being here today. Allison, uh, we've been, we're temporarily closed for the winter. We're reopening now in the spring. As the weather gets warmer, we know this is our peak season for the brew pub. So I feel like we're really ramping up staffing wise. Tell us a little bit about the positions that are, we're hiring for right now. Sure. Well, um, to bring the brew pub back to normal operations, which is, um, you know, we're thinking hopefully post COVID operations, maybe for the summer, we need to hire virtually every position for the restaurant. So right now that includes cooks and dishwashers, uh, hosts, bussers, food runners, bar backs, servers and bartenders. Um, we're also looking for two sous chefs and a front of house manager. So there's plenty of opportunity in the brew pub right now um, for summer employment. And uh, it's a great time to join Great Lakes. So We'll absolutely be adding positions on our website. There are plenty of positions available now on the website, but you don't necessarily have to apply. Let's talk a little bit about those weekly walk-in interviews. How do those work? Sure, so every Wednesday from noon to six, we're holding uh, walk-in interviews at the Brew Pub for restaurant staff. Um, they will, basically what you'll do is you'll come in, fill out an application, um, and for some positions, we'll have a, a short questionnaire, mostly for more senior positions like servers and bartenders. Um, and then you'll be sitting with one of our managers, uh, myself or a representative from HR for your first round interview. Um, while you're there, uh, you know, we really just wanna get the chance to get to know you and um, uh, find out if you'll be a great fit, but also, you know, find out um, when you're looking to start and um, what interests you about joining the company. So uh, it's pretty much your standard interview. It's just the opportunity to walk in without having to go through uh, an online application um, uh, previously. So, okay, you don't necessarily need to fill out an application online. We're doing these weekly every Wednesday from noon to six. Do I need to schedule an appointment if I wanna come in and talk to someone? No, just come on in on Wednesdays. Um, we also are, if you need to pop in and want to just drop off a resume, even during normal operating hours of uh, the brew pub, we're always happy to pass those off to our HR department as well, um, because we really want to um, staff up for the summer. Awesome. So uh, for those watching at home and they're interested in maybe in coming into one of these weekly walk-in interviews, is there anything that they should bring? Well, we do prefer that you bring a resume, but it's not required. Um, and of course, given uh, the climate now, we still want everybody to bring a mask. <laughs> cool. All right. So 
if someone can't make the walk-in interviews, they can always apply online, correct? You're always welcome to apply for any open position on our website, um, and that's greatlakesbrewing.com slash employment. From there, you'll be scheduled for an interview with myself or one of the management team during a time that works for your schedule. That's great. So, uh, hey, if you are downtown going to the Wolstein Center, you're getting in line for the COVID vaccine, keep that mask on, swing over the bridge and come by the brew pub. Maybe you can uh, fit in a walk-in interview as well. Allison, I'm curious from an employee perspective, what do you think sets our brew pub apart from other bars and restaurants? Well, as Becca uh, mentioned, our benefits package is really, at least in my experience, unrivaled um, in restaurants. We take really great care of our employees. Um, our paid time off and the fact that the brew pub is closed on most major holidays is also, um, you know, really a great incentive uh, to know that you'll be able to spend July 4th or Labor Day with your family instead of working on our patio uh, is always a nice thing for restaurant employees. Um, I think. The last thing, which has been really important to me and also is important to a lot of uh, the restaurant staff is the beer education program that we have here. Um, we teach classes twice a month that are open for the staff about new beers that are coming out or just refreshers on our, on our um, year round beers that we've had for a long time. Um, we have a Cicerone program. Once you've been um, with the company for a little while, you can enroll in that and we will take you through getting um, your level two certification through in the Cicerone program, which is really amazing and sort of unheard of in the restaurant industry as well. Um, so if you're a beer lover, uh, we've got an answer for you. Number one, you can um, come here, have like a, a, a nice way to communicate that love with the public, but you can also continue to grow your knowledge uh, about beer while working for Great Lakes. And I think I can speak for the rest of the panel that the beer is absolutely a terrific perk, right guys? Uh, yeah, and uh, in the brew pub and also in the brewery, you know, our uh, employees are welcome to have a shift beer at the end of every shift, which I think also contributes to sort of a sense of family and a camaraderie here that is unseen in other places. Absolutely, yeah, you gotta love the shift beer. It's a great way to end your, a long day uh, and a fun day. Uh, if you're just now tuning in, my name is Adam. I want to thank you for joining us. This is a discussion on careers in craft beer, specifically at Great Lakes Brewing Company. Joining me is our talent acquisition and development specialist, Becca Ritterspa, as well as our operations manager of the brewery, Justin Mihalovic, Allison Price, the general manager of brew pub operations, and Veronica Badgley, gift shop and tours manager, who I want to talk to next. If you've ever been to the brew pub, chances are you have stopped in uh, at the gift shop as well, or have maybe taken a tour. So Veronica, as of right now, because of the COVID restrictions that we're following, tours are still on hold, but the gift shop is still operating with shortened hours. Um, you think that's gonna change soon, right? Yes, as things uh, start to go back to normal, we are hoping to uh, bring tours in our gift shop back to normal, back to normal hours. Uh, so we will be hiring for those positions here pretty soon. So that includes tour guides, gift shop attendants, anything else, or is that kind of covering it? Yeah, so we'll be hiring tour guides. Um, that also will lead into our public beer education program as well. There's some opportunity for tour guides to work in that realm as beer educators. Um, and then gift shop sales associates as well, correct? Excellent. So now, you know, a number of the positions we have available on the website right now are full-time positions. Um, but I feel like uh, if you're looking for part-time work, Working in the gift shop or tours is a great way to get into the company on a part-time basis. Tell us a little bit about what those hours might be like. Yeah, so definitely a great way to get in part-time. Um, these hours are gonna be flexible depending on the position. Um, tour guide uh, are generally weekend hours with the opportunity for some weekday hours for beer schools and private tours. Um, and then uh, gift shop will be uh, mostly um, weekends as well. Cool. Now, Veronica, I seem to recall that you started as a tour guide. Is that correct? That is correct. So how was your experience? Did you enjoy it? I mean, you've kind of since moved up in the company. Yeah, I started as a part-time tour guide. So I was here a couple of days a week doing weekend tours. Um, and then I started getting into the beer education. And then uh, there was opportunity for uh, growth and learning all kinds of other things. So I ended up uh, 
working part-time in the gift shop, working part-time in the brew pub hosting, and uh, here we are today managing our tour and gift shop program. <laughs> You've kind of done it all. I started as a customer service rep. I ended up doing tours, and now I'm on the marketing team. I have to tell you, I sometimes really miss tours. Those were a lot of fun. Yeah. And I think uh, tours are a very important part of you know our brew pub experience when people come to visit Great Lakes. So. What kind of qualities are you looking for in a gift shop attendant or a tour guide? Yeah, um, so for both, uh, good customer service skills, definitely important, friendly, mm -hmm. outgoing, um, passionate about craft beer. Um, tour guide specifically, definitely someone that enjoys public speaking, um, education, things like that. Uh, tours are super fun. They're great. You get to educate people about craft beer in a way that's super fun and engaging with the public. So um, definitely someone passionate, again, enjoy speaking with people, um, especially speaking about beer. Veronica and Becca, I bet you both would agree. We are especially looking for craft beer advocates, not necessarily craft beer snobs, right? Correct. <laughs> okay. yeah, absolutely. You know, and somebody, one of the things that we identify with as a company is telling stories mm -hmm. and um, not only is are the tours fun for people that love history I mean we're rooted here in Ohio City with a 30 plus year history um, and it's really rich um, but when it comes to tour guides you know if you're that person at a party that's always got the circle around you while you tell the great story tour guide might be for you <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Veronica, thanks again for joining us. Again, you can see what positions are available at greatlakesbrewing.com slash employment. If you're interested in a brew pub position, you can always stop by for one of our weekly walk-in uh, interviews. Those are on Wednesdays from 12 to 6. With that out of the way, we've done the brew pub. We've done the gift shop. Let's go across the street to where the magic happens over in the brewery. Justin, how are you, buddy? I'm doing great. It's been a very busy time at the brewery. I mean, we just added this new canning line. Uh, summer's rolling in, so uh, a busy, busy time. Tell us a little bit about what's happening for you and what you're seeing over at the brewery right now. Now, uh, at the brewery right now, we're responding to you know what the customers want. Um, you know, with the, the whole pandemic uh, hit, we were you know a little bit heavy on draft, and now you know the customer wants to drink it in a different different venue. So uh, we're all, you know, full steam ahead on cans and, and getting as many bottles as we can out. And, you know, as kegging starts to pick up, you know, it's, it's been great. Whatever the customer wants, however they want to drink our juice um, <laughs> it is, we'll give it to them. So. Absolutely. So what kind of positions right now are available over on the production side of the business? Yeah, on the production side uh, is we got six uh, bottler positions opening, uh, two on first shift and four on second shift. Um, we'll be going back to a second shift uh, bottling here in the next few weeks. Um, so looking to get some really good people in here who want to get their foot in the door. Um, I think like Becca said, you know, I started on third shift bottling and worked my way up to operations manager. I knew it was a, a good company to work for with, and they've cut me around with great benefits, um, great for work family, you know, balance. And um, it's, it's been the best decision of my life just to, you know, take that leap of faith and get on the ground level and, and work hard. So. Well, we love having you over there. And like you mentioned, the positions right now are mostly bottling positions. Now that's at the Ohio City Production Facility, correct? Correct. Um, we also, uh, I want to mention, we have some seller tech uh, positions, seller technician positions that, uh, that are available right now as well. Um, they're kind of our our entry levels um, is because I guess it's the weekend position because we'll start brewing, you know, 24 seven, cellaring 24 seven. Uh, we normally package, you know, five days a week, sometimes six days a week during Christmas sale season. Um, but we do have the two seller positions open. Uh, if you have any experience in, in that realm, um, even if it's home brewing, if you have that, that knowledge base of, of how the brew process works, um, we're, we're happy to uh, give you an interview, sit down and talk with you, and hopefully it's, it's a good fit. Um, and not only in, in that realm, but we also have a couple of maintenance positions uh, available as well. Uh, they're open. We have an electrician uh, uh, position open on first shift. I know that position will be uh, probably mainly Ohio City with some opportunity to get over to our other facility that I think we're going to talk about here in a minute. Um, we also 
uh, in, the, in the Strongsville facility have a second ship maintenance te technician uh, available. Um, and probably give a little bit of background on the, the, the Strongsville facility is, yeah. you know, all of the magic happens over here in, in the brewery. We, we brew it, um, we recellar it, um, you know, age it in our tanks and, and filter it. And some of it uh, gets sent over to our Strongsville facility where we have a state-of-the-art can line um, that we've been up and running with since October. Uh, we're, we're tankering beer over there all the time, trying to get as, as many cases as we can out the door. Um, so that Strongsville facility is is really really nice. Um, if you if you've ever been on a tour in our in our brewery, um, you know it's a an older building that is is has lots of history and lots of stories. And and the Strongsville facility is going to have lots of stories as well. Um, it's just a, a a little bit different environment. Yeah, and that's what's kind of great too uh, about the production side is. You could work in Ohio City if you're closer to Cleveland, or maybe if you're out in the suburbs, Strongsville is an option too. So um, kind of building off of that, you touched a little on about the work-life balance and the fact that our brewery really operates pretty much on a 24-7 basis. So um, how many shifts do we typically run? Um, do you have any, any, any you know, info on that? Yeah, we run we run three shifts in Ohio City. Uh, we run two shifts in Strongsville. Um, it, it fits really good if somebody is a night person. Um, we're gonna have you know there's gonna be something that comes available on third shift where you can um, stay up all night when everybody else is sleeping. Um, it, it wasn't my cup of tea during the time I was doing it, but it was the, the foot in the door. Uh, the, there are night owls that love that shift, and uh, um, it's it's it's. It's great if that's what that works for you. Um, second shift uh, and first shift over here in Ohio City. Um, we got great crews over here, a great culture. Um, the guys working together all the time. Um, we mentioned the draft cards um, earlier today. We had our meeting. We've had 148 draft cards submitted this year uh, already, and um, it keeps a my to-do list pretty long and keeps our safety managers to do list pretty long and everybody else that's on that team. But it's, it's great to see how many ideas are coming from our employees. Um, they're really caring about the company, uh, really care how we're, how we're doing and how we're going to move forward. Yeah. And of course, uh, every employee gets the shift beers. And if there are any low fill bottles, the production yeah. guys get those first, right? Absolutely. That's the, <laughs> they get the first dibs on those. And, you know, then uh, piggyback a little bit, you know, the restaurants open, uh, Allison, correct me, with Thursday through Sunday. For now, we're hoping to be back to normal operation by Memorial Day. Awesome. Uh, you know, we have, we've felt the need that we still needed to carry that shift beer uh, mentality, even through the, the brew pub shut down and it had made some opportunities for us all to get together and, and stay engaged as a team over here in the brew, uh, in, in the brewery. Um, so we sit down in the tasting room and have a beer together at least once a week, if not more. Um, so just to keep that camaraderie, camaraderie, you know, uh, flowing over here, because we really do have a great group of people over here uh, on every shift, um, really, really looking to do good things and make some good liquid. Yeah, it's great. And again, if you are interested in getting on the production side, maybe you're interested in working in the lab. Um, uh, we have there's no positions available on our website. There is still that futures positions uh, area where you can fill out, just introduce who you are. Uh, we would love to get to know you. So Justin, the brewery is obviously a huge part of our company, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they're putting in the beer and the bottles, the cans, the kegs. I'm just curious, what kind of qualities are you looking for um, if there's someone that's interested in joining the bottling line or the keg line or the cellar? I mean, obviously, we want hardworking people, and and the way that we we kind of grade everybody over here on a, on a yearly basis is um, our top three things are safety, quality, productivity, and in that order, uh, we always want to make sure that we send people home the way that they came in, or if not better, um, and we also, you know, and after that, we want to make the best product that we can make. You know, um, it's it's all about the beer here, um, so we want somebody who's passionate about that beer. Uh, um, and then the, the productivity side, we want somebody who is innovative, who can communicate and show up at the right place, at the right time, the right uniform and 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 get the work done because uh, we we are very heavy. Um, we're getting busier and busier every day. Um, we really need people who are thinking ahead and uh, and want to work hard and, and move up in this company. Uh, one of my my famous sayings is I keep that the hardest working people, the happiest people here. And we have a lot of hardworking people here. We have a lot of happy people here. So it's, it's really good to see. Well, every time I'm over in the production side of the brewery, uh, whether it's the canning line, bottling line, 
I am always amazed at how willing everybody on your crew is willing to help each other out, even if it's not necessarily their job. Um, it's pretty impressive. It's, it's a good group of people you're working with. Yeah, we, we work in a team environment. That's what it's all about. You know, we're, everybody is in service to everybody else. You know, we're, you know, my supervisors, they're, they are there to serve their, their direct reports. And I'm there to, you know, serve everybody to make their jobs easier, um, to make their jobs better, to make the liquid better. So. Absolutely. Well, hey, we're just about uh, ready to wrap up. If you're watching at home and you have any questions, you want to throw them in the chat, go ahead and do that right now. I'll try and sneak them in right at the end. Um, but for the group, I have final two questions for you. I'm going to work my way around. I'm going to start with Becca. And the first question is, what advice do you have for job candidates? And what is your favorite part about working at Great Lakes? <clears throat> Um, best advice for job candidates is, um, you know, whatever it is that you're good at, we probably have a place here for you. Um, you know, we'd love to have you reach out again, even if you don't see that application or if you don't see a job right now, you can fill out that application for future employment. Um, we may have a job for you down the road. Um, we really value, like I said, differing ideas, different abilities and backgrounds and I think that's what makes this place really special. Um, and it, I think it's what drives a lot of our creativity and our innovation. Um, so I would say that would be the biggest thing to for, for job seekers. Um, my favorite thing about working here has just been um, really kind of finding a home. Um, I haven't had to worry about bouncing around jobs um, since starting my career here. I've grown so much professionally. I, absolutely love the people. Um, we have wonderful leadership. Pat and Dan Conway are just tremendous people who really care about their employees. And um, if you end up joining our team, they will know your name. They will know what beer you like to get at Shift Beer. They, they just know people and it makes it feel really warm and welcoming. Um, so I, for me, this is just, it's where I plan to stay. Awesome. Allison, same question. What advice do you have for job candidates and what's your favorite part about working at Great Lakes? Uh, my advice for job candidates is come to our weekly open calls because that's call. the best way to get your foot in the door um, and to, to meet the management team um, and, you know, let us get to know you. Um, my, my favorite thing about working for Great Lakes right now is just how committed um, everyone in leadership is to moving the ball forward. Um, we have some really exciting brands coming out. Uh, we just invested, a, um, a, you know, in redoing our kitchen and our brew pub and sort of updating the space um, because we're going. We, we want people to come here. We want people who maybe haven't had a Great Lakes beer in a few years to take a sip and go, wow, I should be buying more Great Lakes. Um, and we're, we're chasing the market really aggressively in a way that's fun. Um, and it's exciting to be a part of that growth and, and that commitment. Yeah, and that's actually a great point that we didn't necessarily cover. You know, the brew pub was renovated in the past year. And man, that kitchen is awesome. It is so nice in there. So uh, kudos to you. If you're interested in, in joining the brew pub, that is should definitely be a good motivator. Uh, Veronica, what advice do you have for job candidates? And what is your favorite part of, about working at Great Lakes? Um, advice for job candidates, I kind of echoing what Becca said, even if you're not 100% sure, you know, apply. If you're passionate about craft beer, it's likely that we'll have summer mm -hmm. for you. Like I said, when I got hired as a tour guide, I had just graduated with a history degree and was a super history nerd who liked beer, and it worked out perfectly. So let us, you know, we're looking for people with fun personalities, and uh, so there's probably a place for you. Um, and my favorite part about working here has to be probably the people, honestly. Uh, it's I've worked at a lot of different places, and the people here are so cool. Having shift beers with everybody, you get to know everybody so well. Uh, it's definitely... It's definitely one of the huge benefits of working. Awesome. Justin, same with you. What advice do you have for job candidates and what's your favorite part about working at Great Lakes? Uh, my advice is uh, just be prepared for the interview and then, uh, you know, and, and be prepared to learn, uh, be willing to learn. Uh, we are more than willing to teach somebody, you know, what to do and how to do it and, and how to move up in this company. Um, just become prepared and willing, uh, uh, willing to learn. So that, I think that's my, my one piece of advice. Uh, my favorite thing about working here is, uh, that's, a, that's a great question. There's, there's so many things. Um, 
it has just brought a lot of stability to my life. Um, so knowing that I don't have to look for another job, um, this is where I want to be. This is this company takes care of me and my family and everybody around me. So it makes it a much better place for everybody to work, and, and it just makes a better work environment. So that stability has been awesome. Absolutely, and that's great advice, and uh, that all of you brought. Um, I just want to say personally. <laughs> Um, as someone that experienced this firsthand, if you're interested in joining our company, sometimes that foot in the door position is all you need. You would be surprised how quickly you might be able to move to another position or move up within the company. So just come introduce yourselves. You'd be surprised how quickly you can move around. And then, you know, this is not necessarily my favorite part about working at Great Lakes because you all kind of covered everything, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I take a lot of pride in the fact that we are still an independent, employee-owned, Cleveland Institution. I mean, we are Ohio's original craft brewery. I love craft beer. I love our values and the beer that we make. So uh, it's it's pretty it's a pretty cool place to work. And I feel like uh, a lot of my co-owners would agree with that too. Justin, Becca, Allison, Veronica, thank you all so much for joining us today. Uh, and thank you at home for watching. Again, if you are interested in learning more about the positions that are available right now, please visit our website, greatlakesbrewing.com slash employment. If you are interested in joining our brew pub team and you don't want to necessarily apply online, you can always come to our, one of our weekly walk-in interviews, which is every Wednesday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you just want to drop off a resume, you can do that too. And again, if you go on our website, you see that there are no positions available that are maybe a perfect fit for you or exactly what you want to do, but you still want to introduce yourselves, we have our future positions, applications, that you can fill that out. Becca, Justin, Alice, and Veronica, anything else you want to say before we sign off? We can't wait to meet you. Thanks yeah. for watching. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome. Yeah, we Cheers. sure do appreciate the time uh, of all of you. And uh, yeah, I'm probably be about 45 minutes away from the shift beer. So I will cheers you guys then, okay? <laughs> all right. All right. Catch you guys later. Thanks a lot.